Hi, I'm John Schultz with JDS Home Inspection Services in Denver, Colorado. I'd like to take the opportunity today to talk to you about attics. For most of us, it's just a place to ignore, a place for unwanted storage. In fact, I know a lot of homeowners have lived in their house for years, never even seen their attic. They're not exactly magical places. Small, cramped, stiflingly hot. But they do serve an important function, so shouldn't be completely ignored. They don't just hold up the roof. They help keep the house at consistent temperature throughout, as well as greatly affect the overall energy efficiency of the house. In most attics, at least in Colorado, you'll see three things. The roof structure, made up of roof joists and framing. The sheathing, which is the surface the roof material is attached to. And the insulation. Like I said, this space helps control temperature throughout the house. This simply has to do with the fact that hot air rises. In the winter, all that warm air your furnace provides the house slowly makes its way up here to the attic. When enough hot air escapes into the attic, the house cools down and the furnace kicks back on to heat up more air. Insulation acts like a quilt to keep that warm air from escaping. The thicker the quilt, the more warm air is trapped in the house where it belongs, making it so the furnace doesn't have to turn on as frequently, thereby lowering your utility usage and making your home more energy efficient. Insulation is measured in what's called R-value, this is the material's resistance to energy transfer. Blown in fiberglass insulation is very common and has an R value of 2.5 per inch. So you can calculate your R value by measuring the depth of your insulation. If you have 10 inches, multiply 10 times 2.5, which gives you R25. Recommended insulation levels vary throughout the country since they're based on average outside temperatures. Obviously, you're going to need more insulation in Alaska than you would in Florida. In most of Colorado, the Department of Energy suggests an R38 to maintain energy efficiency. That's about 16 inches of fiberglass insulation. Even more is recommended for higher elevations. That being said, 85% of homes in America are under-insulated. Improper attic insulation actually accounts for 15-48% to 48 of a home's heat energy loss. That not only equates to high energy bills, but can also physically damage the house. In the winter, Heat that escapes into the attic will melt the snow on the roof surface. This water trickles down to the gutters where it freezes solid, making those lovely Christmas icicles. They may be pretty to look at, but in reality, they're a menace. This is called ice damming, and it's a big problem in Colorado. Now a big heavy block of ice is putting weight on the roof structure. Trap moisture can begin to rot away the fascia boards, the soffits, and the siding. Properly insulating the attic can save you thousands of dollars in the long run, prolong the lifespan of your heating system, and raise the resale value of your home. There are many tax credits available as well, so it bears considering to invest a little now to save a lot later. For those of you who wish to make use of your attic space, I suggest you do not. Using the attic space for storage is a terrible idea. Remember, an attic is fairly inhospitable. It may heat up 40 to 50 degrees hotter than it is outside. So on a 90 degree day, it's pushing 130 in the attic, literally cooking anything that you've put up there. It's not necessary or recommended to even enter your attic, but it's a good idea to pop your head up there once in a while. Check the roof structure, penetrations, and sheathing for water damage, wood rot, or mold. This will indicate an issue with the exterior roofing material. Check your insulation to see if it's settled or has been damaged by pets or moisture. Finally, a word of warning. Be very careful in your attic. Most don't have floors, so it's very easy to put your foot through the ceiling or fall. Try and stick to the roof trusses. Also, keep an eye out for any wildlife that may have moved in. Birds, squirrels, wasps, bats, even raccoons have been known to gain access to the attic through small holes. If you suspect an animal's moved in, it's time to call in a pest control contractor. There's nothing worse than being trapped in an attic with a wild animal. If your insulation resembles popcorn, stop breathing. Seal your attic immediately and do not disturb the fibers. This is called Zonalite. It contains asbestos and has been known to cause lung cancer. In this case, you should contact a qualified asbestos remediation contractor to handle it safely. Even though we don't go in them that often or think about them much, I hope this video has shown you that your attic is of vital importance to the comfort level of your house. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel for helpful tips on other home related subjects.